Welcome to Jerry Brown's world, the all-new Jerry Brown. In his latest incarnation as mayor of Oakland, Brown has started a military school. Listen, I believe that had I been sent to the military academy as my mother and father threatened, I would have been president a long time ago. Tonight on Bay Window, Jerry Brown reinventing himself and trying to reinvent Oakland. California, the Bay Area's Brooklyn, long overshadowed by the wealthier, more cosmopolitan city across the Bay. For a long time, Oakland has been struggling, but these days, the city is staging a comeback. City Hall, jazz legend Pharoah Sanders recently headlined the new Art and Soul Festival. There hasn't been a public celebration like this in Oakland for years. Oakland, with a population of 400,000, likes to boast that it's the most racially diverse city in the country. In 1998, this multicultural city elected Jerry Brown mayor in a landslide. And there were African-American candidates and there were Latino candidates, some of whom were very powerful local politicians. Jerry swept every racial bracket, every demographic bracket, every income bracket, he won across the board. It means black folks don't discriminate. Uh, that's what it means, you got a town half black, and you know, Jerry Brown got more black votes than all eight black candidates combined. One reason Brown was elected so convincingly was that he raised expectations that with his fame and connections, he could open doors that were closed to previous mayors. We would try to get meetings with the real decision makers, not the flax, the real folks who could make the decision to invest in Oakland. And we'd have the mayor with us, we'd have the head of economic development, we'd have the city manager. Forget it. You could not get a meeting. Now you have Jerry Brown, they all want to meet Jerry Brown. They all want to shake his hand, they all want an autograph, they want their picture taken with Jerry Brown, they want to tell their kids and their spouses that they met Jerry Brown and Jerry said this and Jerry patted them on the back and Jerry told them that they had a nice hairdo and Jerry told them that their kids needed braces or whatever Jerry told them. They want to meet Jerry Brown. Thank you and I'm really glad to see all of you here. We have an official proclamation declaring this day Korean Day Festival and Parade Day. Some predicted that Brown, a former governor and presidential candidate, would quickly lose interest in local politics. But he continues to focus on his three main campaign promises, to lower crime, improve the schools, and jumpstart the city's economy. He has also become the city's number one pitch man. You see sun here. If you look over there and you can put your camera there, it's a bunch of fog right there. See that fog? That's winter in San Francisco while it's summer in Oakland. We got to make that known. Also, the rents are cheaper. We're closer to Yosemite. We're closer to Tahoe. This is the, the jumping off point for the best of California. I mean, all of the other candidates running for mayor, were any of those individuals elected, you'd have a little flashlight on Oakland. But once Jerry Brown 
became mayor of Oakland. We have a spotlight on Oakland, which is good. But from my standpoint, it says, okay, if you think you're good now, you really have to get much better. 75% of the voters approved a change in the city charter, giving the mayor more power. And with two strong allies, city manager Robert Bob and city council president Ignacio de la Fuente, the mayor is pushing aggressively to transform Oakland. He's using his power in some surprising ways.